AI for driving for dollars. What is up guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how you can use AI for drawing for dollars. So AI has moved into the drawing for dollars tech and we're gonna show you exactly me and Matt Camp from Deal Machine, how you can use AI in your wholesaling real estate business when it comes to drawing for dollars and Deal Machine to increase your deal flow and to make a ton of money in your wholesaling business. Before we do that, you gotta do me a big favor. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and let's get into it. So I am here with Matt Kemp from Deal Machine, and we're gonna talk about AI for drawing for dollars in Deal Machine. So uh, Matt came to me uh, a couple days uh, earlier and showed me kind of the new upcoming thing with AI for drawing for dollars. And I thought it was so cool. I kind of want to do a video here and share with you guys how you can start doing it. I know so many people here already subscribed to dmzac.com. So it's just an additional feature for you. And uh, we're excited to break it down. Absolutely, man. Thanks again for having me on it, Zach. I'm, I'm pumped to be on here and show everybody, uh, you know, the new stuff we've been been cooking up here. I know uh, this is something that's brand new for you guys. So uh, depending upon when you're watching this, it either is about to come out or just came out on web mobile and uh you know we're excited to see how people use this guy so awesome so uh let's get into it how is this working what is it and uh show us yeah happy to so um one thing i do want to kind of give a, a quick little uh you know kind of context to to you know uh the ai piece that we just launched i know david Leco, who you've had on before uh you know even years ago i know you you were uh, you know early on to, to uh you know be chatting with david on our end he's our, our ceo and founder um, when he started Deal Machine, he really had this limiting belief that he felt like he needed to know everything out there before he was comfortable at all taking action, getting out there and really making progress. Like he spent a lot of time educating himself, which is good. You know, you want to be able to you know, absorb as much knowledge as you can and continue to do that and be you know immersed in it. But where you're going to do a ton of learning is when you get out there, take action and actually start talking to people, start talking to sellers, start taking the right actions, you know, building a list of leads, reaching out to them, all that type of stuff is where you're you're really going to make leaps and bounds, uh, you know, ahead of other other options in terms of, of being able to really absorb knowledge and continue to get better at this. And so this AI feature that we've baked into Deal Machine that I'm really excited to show off for, for you guys is something that, that came from that, came from our mission to help people really overcome feeling like they need to know everything, overcome the, you know them jumping into even Deal Machine for the first time and figuring out like, hey, what do I do next? You know, what, where do I go from here? Um, so this, this is really a new feature that's going to help you overcome that and have this kind of on-demand guide and co-pilot, you know, in your pocket at all times. Um, we're calling it Alma, which you can kind of see like uh, here, here it is, A-L-M-A inside yeah. Deal Machine. Uh, so Alma AI on our end, which it's the first of its kind real estate specialized AI assistant where it's very focused on helping you, again, be that kind of deal finding co-pilot, help you drive for dollars in a more effective way by using AI with the combination of our just massive amount of off-market property data. So, it, you know, the goal with this is to make it just very, very uh, uh, easy to use, very quick to use. It's in the app. It replaces having to like Google anything or having to use, you know, like any other AI tool outside the app to, to, to figure out anything like that. And really, um, you know, our data is going to make it way more insightful and way more focused. It's, it's only real estate specific. So it's way more focused than anything else you've used out there. So i um, excited to show this off and kind of give you guys, you know, AI superpowers inside Deal Machine here. So Awesome. So uh, let's break it down. Awesome, man. So let me try to share my screen here. Cool, cool. Um, so if you've ever used Deal Machine before, if you've ever seen any, any content about us before, um, you'll recognize this screen. You know, we've baked it again right into what you're already used to, what you're already using here on Deal Machine. This is, if you're using Deal Machine Pro and up, this is where you're going to get Alma immediately. And it, we're, we're, you know, putting it right in, like we're not charging anymore for this. This is something that we've built into Deal Machine Pro. Mm. So that uh, wanted to just give, give you guys as much value as possible in general. But again, our goal with this is to help you help assist you on what to do next in the app in the moment. So um, do, do you want to, Zach, do you want to pick a zip code for me so we can kind of like, you know, show it off where you're looking? Yeah, let's do this. Three, four, nine, five, two. Three, four, nine, five, two. Awesome. I want to buy another rental there. So here we go. Love it. Port St. Lucia. Is that right? All uh, right. Port St. Lucie. Oh, yeah. Lucie. There we go. Okay, cool. So as we zoom in on the map here, so this is all residential, it looks like then? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, cool. So, you know, what you're used to inside Deal Machine is if you're driving for dollars, just, you know, the idea being, hey, getting in your car, 
driving around looking for fixer upper properties, looking for those rundown houses that again are the, the best leads out there in your market. You know, those are the properties that are, um, you know, the most motivated sellers, you know, they, they also are value add properties where you can go in and, and immediately, you know, uh, either add value yourself or wholesale them to somebody who's going to add value. So they're, they're great, you know, for investors. Um, and also, you know, they're also the least competitive leads out there too, because you're, you're looking for properties that aren't necessarily going to pop up on any kind of just standard list that you would pull or build right away. So from a driving for dollars perspective, I know you've talked about that plenty, Zach, but just want to reiterate for people like, here's why this strategy matters. Yeah. Um, and when you're out there, you'll see like, Hey, here's the deal machine app. Let me, let me switch over to satellite view so you can kind of see that too. You'll see like, Hey, here's what the, you know, what the, the area looks like, you know, in real life. Um, you know, so you can toggle back and forth to kind of view that in a different way. Um, oops, let me scoot over here. So as we're looking at the map right here, you're driving down, you know, see furry lane and any property that you click on and view, you'll be able to, uh, you know, you would see it in real life, see that property, say, Hey, you know, 2237 is a run, you know, rundown house. Let me add that lead. Let me move on to the next one. So when you do that, it puts a little blue pin and you're building your list in real time while you're driving for dollars. So yeah. that's kind of, you know, deal machine overall to begin with. Yeah, that's um, the point. You know, you're driving for dollars. If you use deal machine, I mean, it's, I'll let everybody know, you know, there's no secret deal machine is not free, but for the, you know, 60, 70, if you get the upgraded versions of it, the, the extra time you save while drawing for dollars with this gives you extra leads. And just those extra leads are probably worth thousands of dollars. So that, that's kind of the point of dmzac.com. Like you just, you make a lot more money by using it because drawing for dollars is probably the best bang for your buck hour per hour time for wholesaling. So, yeah. And, and I mean, that strategy we did not come up with that one on our own, you know, driving for dollars has been around for forever. It's just a matter of, okay, how do we make it way more efficient, way more effective, way more scalable for you. Right. Um, and we're, we're proud to say we've had over 10,000 people land deals using deal machine. So it's just us using that proven process using, you know, a proven technology and, and then putting AI into this. So um, to show this off, when you click on a lead now, uh, let me find one that's not corporate owned. Okay. Awesome. It's cool. So you click on it you pull down here, you'll see in the bottom right corner, you've got Alma living right there. And when I click on that, this is what's going to pull up for you now. And this is this thing is fun to use. I mean, people are, I mean, you could ask it anything. So we, you know, we, uh, this is brand new version one. You know, people are just starting to use this right now. Uh, so we're really excited to see what all you guys ask it, what you use it for. Especially if you come up with a prompt, if you type in something that gives you really, really good information, like I would love for you guys to share that on social yourself, uh, you know, help each other, help, help the community here. Right. Um, and tag deal machine on there so we can give you guys a shout out and, and we're, we're still learning too on like everything that you can be using this technology for. But I, I would say on our end, the main buckets that I'm finding this be really useful for um, and that we're, we're finding in our kind of our, our you know, customer rollout here. Uh, first bucket would be kind of property analysis. So, you know, you can see like analyzes properties an option here. We've got 10 preset prompts for you right here. So that way, if you don't know where to start, if you don't have anything that you're going to type in right away, if you're just, just seeing this for the first time, you're like, okay, what do I do here? You can select one of those preset prompts. Um, so we've got 10 preset there. One, you know, one of them being like analyzing the property. So I'll show that off here in just a minute. And it's very much like, you know, thinking through, Hey, is this a good deal? You know, calculator, you know, calculate an offer I can send, you know, things like that. Um, the second bucket we're finding is how do I re get in touch with sellers? So like giving you options on here's how you should market to a seller. And Oh, let me help you come up with text messages. Let me help you think about questions to ask a seller, you know, on, on a cold call, you know, things like that. So I'll show that off too. And then kind of the third bucket we're finding is helping you find resources. So things like, you know, I, I one example I've used is um, help me find a title company. Um, you know, how, how do I find renters? You know, that's obviously if you're going to buy and hold, um, so it, it can, again, going to be used for in any way that you can come up with, but those are kind of some general buckets to think about what AI could be useful for. So, oh, yeah, I, it's crazy. You know, everyone's biggest question is going to be like, what's the in this and chat GPT? What's the in this and Bard AI? Cause I talk about that mm -hmm. all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. So chat GPT, everyone knows about that. You know, it, regular AI, you got Bard AI, which is connected to the internet. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that'll analyze it. It'll go to Zillow and analyze it. But for this Alma, it's cool because it's like chat GPT, except it's not connected to the internet. It's connected to deal machine. And so it's kind of just pulling from deal machine and from regular AI. And so that's the big key difference I personally found with this yep. is it will go into deal machine. So the most advanced AI that I'm on the cutting edge of it, it's not going to calculate my offer price for me. 
first of all, it's not really going to know what that is. And second, it's going to go over the board and it can't connect to a software that's actually going to analyze it the right way. But mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. So that, that's kind of the point of this video and why it's so cool. It's just the next version of it. And it's, it's insane where it's at now. And I can't even imagine what it's going to be for like four months from now. Absolutely, man. Yeah, and I think you nailed it too. It, it doesn't have the data to be able to run, you know, to be able to do that. It doesn't have the parameters or definition of like, here's what that looks like. So it, we've really focused on on specializing this version of the, you know, of AI like that, and then also, like you said, you know, uh, feeding it with data that you wouldn't get other places. So that's and then on top of all that, it's right in the app. So if you're already using Deal Machine, if you're using AI plus the rest of the deal machine, which I can show off a couple of use cases too. Those two things together are going to be super, super helpful for you. So um, we, we can start here and uh, Zach, do you, I mean, do, you know, I, I know for this, you just jump in and says like, Hey, welcome. I'm all my, your AI real estate helper. I'm still a novice. I appreciate your patience. What do you want to know about this property? Um, I know for people who've never used AI, like you probably are going to just going to select a preset prompt. That's great too. Um, or again, if you, you know, you can go to the bottom and type in anything, Zach, do you want me to just kind of show off some cool stuff or did you have, uh, yeah, a direct you you know. <laughs> is this okay. in the app too? Yeah. 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 So like th that's perfect. Cause if I'm driving, I see the house, I might just want to click a couple cool. buttons to get some more info on it. So exactly. Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll show off some examples of that. Like, like for example, you see a house, you know, it's a rundown property. You're thinking about, Hey, I want to get in touch with that seller. Well, to begin with, let's try analyzing the property. So I just selected a random one on 2249 Seaferry Lane. Um, you know, what investment strategy you're looking to use? You can, you know, wholesale, fix and flip, buy and hold. Let's start with wholesaling here. And it's going to spin and say, hey, this could be a good wholesale deal. The max allowable offer is $148,304.80, which we can show you here in a second how they got to that number. Uh, the last, per And here's the last purchase price. Um, they don't have, you know, it looks like the loan is assumed to be free and clear. Uh, let's see with a max allowable offer higher than the last purchase price. It's possible the seller to accept an offer without having to pay off their current loan, if any. So it'll give you some context and it'll go right away, figure out, Hey, what's the max allowable offer for this particular property? What is the current loan on this property? You know, things like last purchase price, give you, you know, kind of think about that data and then say, Hey, based on these factors, this could be a good wholesale deal. Like this could be, this could be a deal to start off with. Um, to give you even more information behind that, how to get to max allowable offer, let's calculate the offer price here. So that's one of the, the preset templates or one of the preset prompts right here. Okay, cool. To get to MAO, if you're going to wholesale, here's the formula they use. Which is that? Can you can you break down the MAO formula that you really uh, give people as well? Yeah. So our MAO formula, first of all, it just just remember your MAO. It's always going to be a guess. It's never going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, roughly our MAO formula is a tiered system based off of the price of the property. So if the ARV mm -hmm. is below, yeah, if it's below 120, it should be 70%. ARV minus repair is multiplied by 70%. Once we get into things that are like 120, 200, you're close to 80, two, 250 and above, you can be at 83. And then anything above four or 500, 85%. They're yeah. always rough. They're always different, right? Uh, Port St. Lucie here, for example, an ARV of 286, I'd probably be at 83% on it. Yeah. Um, but like you can just see what he has and then you just calculate yourself too. Um, but like you can always ask it like, can you do an MAO, but make the discount rate 83% instead? And there it works like there, right? And so I can just always recalculate to whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, but every single market's different, you know? Yep. Exactly. And, and I, that's the cool thing. Like you, like you said, I mean, Hey, you know, a general rule of thumb that we have in here is 70%. Um, yeah. but you can have a conversation with it. Like we just said, Hey, can you recalculate this with an 83% discount? And okay, cool. Uh, you know, here the estimated repair costs, it says, um, what is the condition of this property? You can ask, um, to get to that. We have some general condition data. This one's unknown. So, I know they uh, it defaults to like an average repair cost and then multiplies it by a square footage. Yeah, that's so kind of a very general number for estimated repair costs. You know, so that's the thing I would recommend in terms of doing your due diligence. I probably look at that factor first and foremost. Um, but you can have a conversation with it like this and be able to say like, hey, yeah, you know, I I like your max level offer, but let's change that discount rate. You know, I want a higher wholesale fee, um, you know, things like that to be able to kind of tweak that offer and come to a, a different number each time. Yeah. Um, I, I will mention, you know, as you do this too, like each individual property you look at, you know, if I were to go down the street to the next one, Alma will pop up again, have a clean chat right here and be able to kind of go through this entire, you know, entire process Beautiful. again for you guys. So 
Um, you know, you're, you're using it in a way to be able to kind of analyze per property like this, mm-hmm. you know, look at things like offer, look at things like calculate my rehab costs, which is another prompt here where we cal- let me calculate repairs on this property. Again, we have a general range of 20, you know, it's uh, you know, overall kind of repairs based on the general condition of the property. Um, you can also a- ask it like, say, Hey, I talk, you talk to the seller, for example, you come back into Alma and say, Hey, what would mm-hmm. the repair cost be on this specific property if it needs a new roof and I got to replace the kitchen or like yeah. it needs new flooring? And then it will it will say, OK, and it can it can really compartmentalize like exactly what it needs and what it doesn't. Um, but obviously, you're going to have to talk to a seller. Right. Yep. Um, but it will change the estimated repair costs for it. And so 52 is interesting. But like, let's say the flooring is perfect and it only needs this, this and this. And it's mm-hmm. it works great because I love how the way AI does it, because it will look at what the average repair cost in that zip is and then go from there. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So like St. Louis is going to be different than Florida here for the repair cost. So it's, hmm. it's the more information you give AI, the better it's going to be. The, you can give it really terrible prompts and AI is going to suck. It's only as good as you. And so, you know, you got to train on exactly how to ask it the right questions and it'll change a lot. And I, I think you nailed it there. Like the more, the better you get at prompting it, the better you giving it information, yeah. the more exact you can get, the more you get out of it. So that we do have a lot of general prompts to begin with. Like again, those first 10 to kind of start the conversations, but that's why I'm so excited to see people really use this, really dig into this, really come up with their own prompts and own, own line of questioning. Um, so please be, be uh, you know, share that out if you're on social, if you can, and again, tag us and we can be able to spotlight you guys too. Exactly. Right? Um, one other example on this kind of bucket of, you know, calculating repairs and, and being able to really get in and, and share some really interesting numbers, um, asking the estimated value. So like after repair value of this property, according to the comps, you can get that, you know, that number pretty quickly on here, how you can use that in comparison with, uh, or if you want to pull the exact addresses of how you got to that number, the cool thing is, you know, you're using AI inside deal machine and you can use the rest of deal machine with it. So for example, as you're driving around, as you're adding these leads, you're, you're able to pull it up right there and look at more info. But first and foremost, you're looking for rundown properties while you drive for dollars. So don't forget that, like start there and build that list that way. Same thing with the comps, like, hey, you can use Alma for some comp, you know, comp, uh, you know, quick calculations like this, but also, hey, you can jump in. We have a comps tool right there in every single deal machine uh, uh, plan right here where you click on comps go in and you can start to you know draw around the area. You can start to adjust the comps based on the dates, based on your build, bed, bath, square footage, you know, all kinds of stuff. So you can get really, really specific here around an area um, and be able to kind of, kind of use comps on the go on the spot like that um, in addition to using Alma. So to, again, th- we love being able to share the AI you know, feature and being able to enhance this, but it's it should enhance everything else that, that the software can do as well. So. Exactly. I mean, it's, I, I feel like in my opinion, I, I, there's probably some that's done it, but like, it's the first of the kind right now to have a AI wholesaling type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you know, I expect everyone to try to copy it obviously, but like it's the first one. And so speeds everything in this business. So it's just gives you more, you know, I, I look at this, it's, it's a tool, you know, don't expect this thing to do everything for you, but if you use it as a tool, you'll get a lot farther. You know, it's like, uh, digging with a shovel versus your bare hands. Like it just, it makes mm-hmm. it a lot better, but if you're not going to put the work in it, it won't work. Yeah. And you are right. Yeah. First of its kind to be able to help investors go find deals like this. Like that, that's what we're so excited to, to, to get this out here quickly for you guys. So, um, so again, that's one bucket is really the, the, the calculations, you know, running numbers, you know, helping you do some like kind of, you know, market research like this, things like that. Um, secondly would be, okay, cool. If, if I determine that this is a good deal or this is a property that I want to get in touch with the seller, you know, again, like you put out a ton of awesome content on this. In addition to that, like we can help you kind of take action on that knowledge and be able to say like, Hey, cool. How do I get in touch with the seller? Well, Hey, here's four methods to, to, especially to use deal machine to be able to get in touch with that seller. You can direct mail, you can cold call, you can email them, you can door knock them. So if we go through that and we're like, hey, yeah, cool. I, now I've got some ideas on how I can reach out to the seller. Let me let me act on that. And again, you want to use AI in addition to Deal Machine, so you can go down, you know, add that lead, and then be able to skip that skip trace that lead right there. So hit hit skip trace, and you know, I won't do it on the video, but you know, it'll come back with phone numbers, and it'll give you you know email addresses. It'll give you ways to get in touch with that person right on the spot. 
and, you know, be able to say, okay, well, now that I have phone numbers, um, you know, how should I reach out to them? Well, let me send a text message. So help me write an SMS message to the owner. Here's one option right there. Copy, paste. You can send that off. So as you can see here, it's, it's just making it really, really easy for you to continue to take that action, continue to figure out what's next. And again, you're going to get the most, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. So you can say, hey, let me write five more SMS messages. And that way you can kind of pick your favorite and it'll generate that for you too. So it's, it's assisting you, making you more and more efficient, effective and help make you, you know, 10 times more productive. Right. So. Oh yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know, again, you go down that road, you also um, can go and say like, Hey, yeah, let me, when, when I text a, a seller, they say, Hey, let's chat. Uh, you can say, well, okay, well, let me help me write a cold call script. What should I ha you know, talk to that seller about? Well, here it'll go through and kind of give you a, a hypothetical conversation with that seller. And, you know, you can kind of use that to help guide you. You could say, uh, what other questions uh, should I ask the seller? You can do that. And, you know, it'll keep generating more and more questions for you and say, here are things that you should be inquiring about the property. Uh, you know, you can go in and say, hey, let me where are we here? Help me practice negotiating. So it'll come through and say, here's a list of potential objections the seller might have. So it, again, it's this kind of, uh, you know, at all, all times ready to go, you know, assistant and, and guide to be able to give you ideas, help you just continue to be more and more effective with the actual driving for dollars part, building the list and then next, you know, and qualifying those leads and then taking action on that list and actually reaching out to sellers and having those conversations. Beautiful. Um, is there anything, Zach, going through kind of those first two things, is there anything that you, that's coming to your mind of like, I would ask it this, or, you know, here's something that I think people are going to use it for right away? Not really. I think the analyzing and the comps is going to be the best thing for it. Probably you can add repair <laughs> cost, calculate that. And then it just, it, in my opinion, it kind of stops that whole analysis paralysis thing. You can just ask oh, it yeah. and you kind of get it done. This is generally what a good comp should be. This is generally what I should offer. Anything to cut the time span from you actually calling that person and meeting them and going to the property, I'm all for, right? Yeah. The point is, this is not going to do everything for you. This is not going to give your closing a lot. This is just to make sure that you have all the tools possible to get that contract locked out for the lowest possible. So that's anything to shorten that, I'm all for. Love it. I'm just yeah. screaming at people. You know, they're, oh, what's my comps? What's my ARV? What should I do? Just throw it in there, go to work, right? Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's removing those barriers. It's a little assistant to help you save time. And, and then, yeah, like you said, if you, you know, don't know what to do next or you're hesitating, then just, Hey, use this to help, help you kind of break through that barrier. So, oh, yeah. um, one thing I, I know, uh, you mentioned before that it could be really, really interesting, um, is figuring out areas to drive for dollars Yeah, uh, and use this, you know, if, if you're not even to that point yet of driving around, looking at properties, marketing to them, you know, first and foremost, like, hey, where do I start? Where do I, where should I drive for, drive for dollars in my area? Um, let me try a couple prompts. So again, depending upon how you word the prompt and depending upon if you put in more and more information uh, into Alma, you're going to get different answers and get more involved answers. So um, let's try this version. Uh, what is it? Three, four, nine, five, two. So I said, yeah. where should I drive for dollars in your zip code? Through? Let me see if this goes back anything. Um so it just explained to you like very generally what drive for dollars is. What are doing it in the zip code? It kind of like give you streets at that point. Um, yeah. So yeah. it would it would give probably this zip code in Port St. Louis for the city. Yeah. Um, and so that's specifically why. Let's see here. Good for investing. Let's try this. Oh, near. How about near? What is it? Port. Port, Port St. Lucie. L U C I E. There you go. Here we go. So River Park is that three four nine five two. So right oh there. nice. So yeah, right there, southbound uh, tradition. Uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Number one, I'd probably get rid of, but uh, everything else mm -hmm. is all good to go. That's really uh, cool. But I mean, tradition's bad for wholesaling, but for rentals, it's amazing. So I, you asked it for investing, not wholesaling. So it's specifically good different. Yeah. But um, you asked it the right thing and it spit out the right thing. So oh yeah. It's cool that it gives you more info like, hey, it's an established neighborhood. It's, you know, quiet and affordable, family friendly. Nice. Um, you know, again, you want to use this in addition to the rest of the deal machine. So one cool thing is if you're going to wholesale specifically, ask Alma, hey, where should I wholesale like this? And then also you can actually use, if you're on our pro level to get you know, Alma, you also get access to this highlights button right here. 
And if you click highlights, let me close out of this. If you click highlights, you've got a ton of data you can tap into this way as well. Yeah. And you can say like, hey, you know, these are all quick list highlights, or you can create a very specific highlight where you've got literally thousands of filters that you can pull from between, you know, mortgage information, MLS data. Um, we have sold data for every single state, all 50. Um, you know, property information, owner information, lien information, but you can go in here and select like, Hey, let me find a hot neighborhood. So, you know, recently sold or, you know, sold in the last 60 days and you can use that and kind of zoom out and figure out really specific streets of where transactions are happening. So, oh, yeah. you know, those two things together of, Hey, look in this neighborhood and then use the highlights to, to kind of look at a hot neighborhood that way, hot blocks, you know, um, that can give you a really good hint of, Hey, there are a lot of transactions here. This could be a good place to wholesale, you know? Exactly. So, um, awesome. So that, that's kind of like, you know, one, one use case we found really, really powerful. Um, you know, I think again, the third bucket, the final one I want to show off here, man, is uh, helping you find resources again to, to, you know, without ever having to leave the app and just, it's super fast, super easy to do this. Uh, so if you go, you know, well, let's just pull up another property here. Um, you know, owner occupied, senior owner, let me pull up Alma again. All right. Awesome. Um, if you look at our preset prompts right here, some other options here is like, help me find a title company or, you know, help me, how do I find cash buyers? You know, give you some information there of, Hey, here's how you can go do that. Here's a couple different options to go find cash buyers. You know, think about, you know, uh, attending this social, you know, advertising, um, you know, sending emails to your list. You can even go in and again, you want to use the highlights button in addition to that, yeah. or even, even list builder, actually list builder in addition to that. We do have a list builder that you can combine with driving for dollars, where if you click on our list builder, you could go in and say like, hey, yeah, let me see um, owners of multiple properties. And that means they might be an investor, right? Yeah. And you've got 3000 in this area. So you can start there and, you know, pull that list and be able to reach out to those owners. So you, you've got a lot of different ways here to kind of use AI to suggest things for you and then execute on them inside Deal Machine. So um is there any other prompt around like finding things, things locally that you think would be uh, helpful? I mean, to a point, you know, there's uh, there's really good title companies that'll help you out for it. Obviously you should call the title, title company and see if they're good for wholesaling. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I think overall we covered pretty much all you need to know for it. Right. Um, anything above it, you know, people get a little crazy. What one big thing I always do, you know, when I try to find AI, for, like the best areas, I don't ask it what's best for wholesaling because it's, it's going to look for articles. It might look for the web, right? What mm -hmm. you should specifically do is just ask it for the low, the least valuable properties with the lowest crime rates. Cross-reference that data mm -hmm. and tell me where it's at. And usually it'll give you that information. Um, I don't know specifically about this one because it's connected to Deal Machine. Uh, mm -hmm. But if you can ask other AI tools for it, that's something I have found for drying for dollars. Um, I know we're, we're here for Alma, but like if you want to use AI for something else when you're drying for dollars, uh, that's a great, great one too. Because statistically, cheap houses that have very low crime rates have always been the best wholesaling uh, houses everywhere. Um, and that's where the investors want. That's where a lot of them are. But uh, yeah, I just spit it out right there. So there you go. connect to the internet. So I did go to Neighborhood Scout and yeah, those are all great ones. There so, you go, man. Yeah. So this, this thing, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> we're, I'm, I'm still uh, figuring out all the most useful ways to use it. So this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> um, there you go. So yeah, again, this is brand new, literally just came out. So we're, I mean, right now is in all, if you're an early adopter on this stuff, that is such an advantage in your market. Like that is a really right. cool thing to, to be able to, to jump out there, use this. And it's going to also just make you way more efficient and effective at your, if you're at your everyday activities in wholesaling. So um, I would say again, try to share, like, this is a great one, share that in, you know, on social media, things like that. If you find really good information in different ways, um, you know, share that out so people can continue to learn and figure out how to make better and better prompts. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get you guys out there finding deals and using, using all of the help. Yeah. Awesome. So guys, if you're going to go check it out, just go to dmzack.com. It's all in there, ready to go and uh, get it going. Make sure you guys download the app too. That's kind of the, the point of it. Like don't, don't, don't just get DMZAC, like get the app too. Make sure when you're out there driving for dollars, you can actually start getting it. And uh, it works really well. Uh, one last question. If I have a bunch of people under me in dmzack.com to drive for dollars for me, for example, they are like a, you know, a 19 year old kid. I got running around 20 bucks an hour. Do they have Alma too if they are a driver for me? 
Yeah, I be- you know what I need. To, I'll double check with our product team. I believe they do. If you're on, as long as you're on pro. Yeah. Um, what you're referring to there, just to show people really quickly here, is if you are on our pro level, you actually get two drivers with you. Um, so three total users on the deal, your deal machine account. Yeah. And you can click on your profile in the top right corner, go to team, and then invite by email anybody on your team. Like I've got Elliot as a driver right here. And you can give them different permissions. You can tell them, hey, make sure they can only add leads or they've got a CRM or they can access my CRM. They can access my billing. So, you know, you've got uh, people that can drive for dollars with you and for you, uh, you know, inside Deal Machine that way. So um, let me I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. I think they do. So just um, curious, you know, yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So, guys, go check it out. DMZack.com. It's right there. And uh, we'll see you at the next AI update for uh, DMZack.com. Thanks, guys.